during this pandemic, I'd much rather, I know where my employees are going if they're going to your food truck. I don't sure. know where they go when they leave the site. Exactly. Welcome to Thought Talk, Positivity in Motion. Hosted by best-selling author, speaker, and coach, C. Ray Collins. Communication is still a very important key in, 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 in making it positive is something that we don't do enough of. C. Ray visits with members of our communities and leaders of local businesses on how they share a positive message during difficult and good times. And now, here's C. Ray. Welcome to Thought Talk, and uh, where everything is positive, and today I have special guests that are into the uh, truck, uh, food truck service, which is a little unique, but it's very interesting. I want to welcome Randy and, and Cheryl Elridge with us today, and I appreciate y'all being here. Thanks for having us, Claude. Thank we uh, for we really us. appreciate it, and, and uh, we, we enjoy being on the show. So tell me a little bit how you got into the truck business and a little bit about yourself. Great. Thanks thanks for having us, Claude. We, we appreciate it. We... Uh, Cheryl and I have been uh, married since we were 17 years old, and uh, we've been uh, we built our business together, and we've worked uh, side by side uh, all these years, over 40 years, built a, a really nice uh, uh, catering company, and and uh, operated it uh, many many years independently, just just her and myself and and, and our family. My son is involved in it, and and, uh, and his wife Anna. Uh, back in about 2008, uh, when the economy got really really bad and the construction sites uh, were drying up, we we merged together with our biggest competitor and formed United Caters, and uh, we now uh, operate the largest one of the largest in the country and uh the largest in the state uh we have uh almost 200 trucks uh oh. operating off our facility but uh a lot of the trucks are independent owner operators and they they uh park there and and do business with us and get their uh supplies from us and yeah that's that's a, another avenue to talk about but but y'all actually operated a truck yourselves oh yeah yeah so y'all sure. both have cooked and i served. ran a truck for over 30 years yeah so yeah. could i call y'all chefs yeah, yeah. well I, yes I, yes <laughs> yeah i'm a jack of all trades when it comes to the truck yes for over 30 years i was the last one to come out of a truck because really it was i was very comfortable there yeah and because uh, i'm a little shy <laughs> <laughs> and, but, uh, yeah, we yeah, both operated trucks, but she she did it for thirty years. I did it a little shorter period of time and got in the the, man, the management the management yeah. side of it. Yeah. So you mentioned that you have other people that, that leases trucks, and, and in other words, you, you give people opportunity to start their own business. Right. Own trucks, right. That's and then they hit out on the road and they just lease the vehicle from you, basically. That, that's that's the fun part about our business is yeah. that is that uh, we, we help people get in business for themselves, yeah. and we uh, we sell them trucks and finance it, and we'll sell them trucks and route and finance it, or even uh, the ones that are operating our company trucks. They're leasing those trucks and they're in business for themselves too. Well. So so those guys you see out there on the construction sites running a truck, he's. He's actually in business for himself. He he buys that product through the commissary or from wherever, uh, different sources, and and pays rent on the truck, and 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 then he goes out there and sells it and makes his money that way. So, uh, how many actual employees do you have? Well, we we have about thirty employees, employees. that yeah. that work for us. We've got a great uh, sales staff. We've right. got about six people that go out there and and help pick up the new jobs and, and, and take care of the clients. And, and uh, that's really, uh, that's our, that's our uh, main uh, breadwinner right there is our, is our sales staff sure. out there generating new stuff for us. Yeah. So y'all are based out of Grand, Grand Prairie. Prairie. Grand Prairie and most of your employees are locally from that area. Yeah, Close yeah, by. they are. Yes, which is good. Most everyone lives within about a 30 minutes of that yeah. of the company because we all go in to, to work right. by like 4 30 in the morning. morning right and so everyone's yeah within about a 30 minute range of yeah. grand prairie it, it's only uh 30 employees but but there's about 400 other people that are working there 
that are uh, the, the lease operators, the cooks, the owner operators, the people loading the trucks and cleaning the trucks. And, and so probably uh, 400 or maybe even as many as 450 uh, sometimes. Wow. And y'all just service the Dallas Fort Worth market. Right, right. Right. Yeah. So, so how many trucks would you say you have on the road today serving food? Probably right now, operating off of our facility, there's about 175. About 175. We, uh, we're, uh, we're real blessed to be back at that number. Uh, yeah. It, it, during, when the COVID hit, uh, we dropped down to having about 20 trucks oh, wow. on the road. And, and uh, we gradually, you know, got, got, back got back up. We, like I say, I can't say enough about my staff. They, they got out there and come up with, with new ways to uh to cater uh you know uh contactless service that we came up with because a lot of the customers they they didn't want any contact right and so we we uh put a table down and have some some uh doors that come down that are uh plexiglass then we'll have uh, our our staff on one side and and the customer on the other yes. side and you kind of put it underneath and yep. and uh, uh it's, made it work. Uh, yeah, made it work. Yeah, made it work. Had to do that. So that, uh, yeah, and that's, that's yeah, this pandemic has affected lots of people. And uh, it's a good thing that the construction industry continued because that's, I know, part of your bread and butter. It, but it is. That's it's our, also it affected. Yeah, that's our main business is the construction sites and factories. And, and, and they've all been affected. Uh, you know, some some of our trucks are out there operating at about 60 percent of what they what they used to yeah but uh we're still out there and, and it's coming back yeah. it's it's so you run the food trucks and i know m most of our audience y'all y'all realize about the food trucks if you if you drive by a, a construction site and you see your lunchtime you'll see a truck out there and, uh, and people gather and oh that's a food truck they're there to get fed for lunch and a lot of factories and, and uh, manufacturing they use food trucks also to service their people during lunch uh, but y'all do more than that, y'all. Y'all, y'all cater. Like I say, you have a commissary. Uh, you want to talk about that, Cheryl? Talk a little bit about that. Well, we have a, we do. We have our own commissary, so it, they can even uh, just our customers, not just our trucks. They can all come in and purchase anything they need. Right. We have our own mechanics on site. We have at least a dozen mechanics that so their truck breaks down, we can get it fixed, get it going. Um, we've ventured out a little bit and, and, uh, we're doing more, uh, private caterings, events, parties, uh, office party catering. Uh, uh, it, this last weekend we were a, a little league concession stand. Uh, we're just, uh, you know, we're, we're trying to generate revenue anywhere we can in, in this economy. And, and we've actually dedicated a couple of trucks to be event trucks that are uh that are booking uh parties and right. and uh of course the events are uh not as good this year as they've been in the past that's right, that's uh, right. but uh but we're still getting some yeah. and and uh you know we're uh we're trying to uh keep everybody working and we're, we've been fortunate we hadn't had to lay off any of our staff that's and great. and uh and uh you know they they've uh of course, they've done their part. Yep. They've uh, they've done their part and made it, uh, you know, made the business come back up. And very so, good, very yeah, good. It's been good. Of course, I know even back when I was in the industry, y'all y'all catered some breakfasts and some lunches for me, uh, which several hundred people. So yes, sure. I know y'all have the capability of doing that. Oh, we yeah. we can feed. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, last month we did twelve hundred people at uh, a big site out in Midlothian uh, and we can feed them in under 30 minutes That's because we've got everything we all set look up for, you know yes get and we get seated in 30 minutes to go with COVID now right. uh, we've even had to sort of adjust the way we serve because when we're serving like that because of COVID right. instead of just serving it out on the plate we're now serving everything closed sealed Right, you know, prepared meal and, and yeah, and, and and single service condiments and, and stuff right. and, and right, uh, right. Instead of uh, we we've adapted every. Uh, it seemed like uh, 
uh, every two weeks uh, when after COVID hit, there was some new procedure that would uh, that would come along, and we're like, "Hey, that that fits with us, and we got to jump on board with that." And, yeah, they they and, changed <laughs> change requirements quite a few yeah, times. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's for sure. But but we've we've evolved, and and we think we're doing a real good job with it right now. Uh, all our guys are uh, taking it real serious and wearing masks and washing their hands constantly and sanitizing the, you know all the surfaces in the trucks and and uh, you know I've always when I was in the industry I'd much rather see trucks come on my site and serve lunch than my employees that are already getting tired by lunchtime getting their vehicles and head down the road somewhere to get something to eat I'm just putting them on the road they've got work on their mind they don't you know I'd, I'd rather they stay there and y'all come in and feed them. I just think it's much safer than putting them out on the road to go get their lunch. And, and uh, it always worked better. Well, we like your way of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, the safety side of it, I always it's thought right. it was much safer sure. for you to come in. Even, even during this pandemic, I'd much rather, I know where my employees are going if they're going to your food truck. I don't sure. know where they go when they leave the site. Exactly. And in our, in our trucks, we've got a, a registered food service manager on there. And these trucks are permitted right. and in whatever city we're operating in and they're insured and and then you know my staff is out there monitoring them and, and checking them and making sure that they're you know they're doing everything they're supposed to too yeah. so like I say y'all do a lot you know we talk about employees your trucks go to all the communities around dallas fort worth area uh, you do a lot you know bringing economy into the the community and but for the audience for texas market what, what what would you say how big is the food truck industry it's it's hard to say for sure but i i would guess that it uh, there could be five thousand uh trucks operating around the state oh i uh, i would i would expect probably yeah uh, austin's austin's big uh mostly with the gourmet type right. food trucks which was a big uh a big boost in the arm, uh, shot in the arm for us when the gourmet thing uh, came around. It became real popular, and and uh, all of a sudden, uh, our business started improving. Uh, and we uh, we we saw what was happening out in California. So my son and I, we went to California and we started checking it out. And we came here and we started a a gourmet food truck, uh, the Yum Yum food truck. It's a real popular uh, mm -hmm. truck, and it's been in business for over ten years now. Uh, actually, we have three of them, and uh, we uh, we we uh, we operated on as a route truck during the week, and then do parties and events on the on the weekends yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, wow. But yeah. yeah, the gourmet gourmet food trucks was uh, was big for us. It it really helped our industry a lot. A lot. Yeah. So. Y'all also do things with your community and for your community. I even know even events that like being a contractor, we'd ask y'all to donate for prizes and stuff. And, and y'all always did that. Y'all do other things with your community? Oh, yes. Yeah. That's sort of my passion. All right. Okay. Tell us about it. Uh, I not only deal with the cater with the, the special events, but the the charity events are really where my passion lies. And uh, Meals on Wheels is one of our one of them that we really push, and, and you know this because sure. it's your site, uh, every year, we, COVID has affected us this year, but every year we will get all of our trucks. I have a little bucket that they put out and uh, we asked our customers, let us keep the change. Right. And all the money that they raise, our company matches dollar for dollar, and it's all donated to Meals on Wheels and uh, all of this is, is helping the senior citizens. Sure. And, you know, a lot of people aren't aware, but that's one of the charities that basically for every dollar you donate it, 92 cents of it actually went to feeding the these seniors, people, right. not to overhead and management. And uh, we also uh, uh, support the uh, Children's Medical Center. That's another big one for us. And... Um, Cook's children in Fort Worth. So Cooks, yeah. Yes, we, we've done several things with them that we do big events to help them out. And we've got one elementary school in Arlington called Thornton Elementary. Uh -huh. It's a Title I school. And uh, right. uh, 
Our there, daughter's a teacher there. Our, so, te so our daughter she, does she, teach yeah, there. That, that helps motivate us to uh, and, support that school. But yeah. we do, uh, we do like we've the, supported their little soccer team, their little their little soccer team. You know, it's elementary school sure. and everything, but it is a Title One school, right. and they didn't even have uniforms. So the last couple of years, we've made sure that they had a uniform when right. they went and played the other schools sure. too, and. Uh, Every year we support the staff because, well, teachers are pretty much yeah. not paid a lot. And so every year we support the staff and uh, they do a... They do a cart. They do a cart for the teachers where they'll roll it around and each teacher can pick like a snack or a drink. Oh, cool. And it's like a little goodie cart for yeah. them. But it's something to help boost their morale Absolutely. because, you know... Well, you know, I, I'm a big firm believer in giving back to the community, and, and, and it's and it's so rewarding just to do that. It, it is. Oh, it is. It is. And, and we, uh, so it's important that we, we support numerous little league organizations. Sure, you know, I mean, yeah. a, a, a lot of people, uh, pretty much anybody comes in there and asks. We we try. To we help try. Support. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, say you 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 you're one of the biggest, or or are the biggest, say here in Dallas Metroplex with food catering and. Uh, so if somebody wanted your services, whether it's the trucks or maybe catering event or something, how, how would they contact you? Well, you can find us on, like us on Facebook, uh, United Caters. Uh, our website is uh, unitedcaters.com. Or you can uh, you can book a uh, catering or uh, a catering event or party at 469-446-1978. Uh, or you can reach me direct uh, four, six, nine, four, four, six, two, two, six, seven. Okay. So, you know, I, I think it's a neat industry. I, if, if I was a young man, I might've would even got into it, but y'all meet so many people and, and, and engage with so many people. It's gotta be very rewarding in that sense that you form these relationships with companies and people and, and that type of thing. I'm, Obviously, is or you wouldn't be in it, right? We we yeah. we, we love getting out there and, and and talking with people and 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 forming relationships with uh, with contractors and superintendents and and uh, we've got some people that that we've watched go from from being a carpenter on the job to being a superintendent on the sure. job, and I, sure. I the you know, is... yeah, that that's been you know really fun watching yeah, some absolutely. of those guys yeah. and and guys that were engineers now they're they're running the job or running multiple jobs in yeah. some cases and and uh, and just the, those those relationships and and uh, you know real loyal people too you know sure. they uh, you do a good job and and they use you year after year and and job after job and <clears throat> but the most rewarding thing for us has been helping get people in business for their self Sure. That's just been a, a joy. Right. Uh, we've you we've get helped to see them grow yeah. as well. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. is. Yeah. It, it, when you see them and they're doing good and 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 they're reaping the benefits from it, it's it's really nice. But then I they're mean, our customer too. Yeah. So so, uh, yeah. so it's a win win. win right. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a win for everybody. We help them and they help us. Yeah. So before we wrap this up, y'all got anything you'd like to say to the audience or? Well, just uh, uh, we appreciate everybody's support over the years. Uh, the the construction industry and the factories around Dallas Fort Worth have, have been been great and awesome for us, and and we appreciate everybody's business and and uh, call us if you need us. United Caters. Yeah. Well, that pretty much sums it up. And if they'd like to have an event catered, call me and get it going. And I will get it going and be right on top of it. Well, listen, y'all been great guests. I appreciate you being here today. Uh, I wish you work, your business continues to be successful. And maybe we'll do this again sometime. Oh, thank you so Thanks, much. Claude. Everybody out there, do something positive today. Smile at somebody. Shake somebody's hand. And we'll see you next week. Thanks. Thanks.